Hi everyone, there's been a couple great changes to using PowerChart I want to tell you about. Number one, you can access PowerChart with just one click and one password from your clinic computer. Number two, you can see images along with diagnostic imaging reports in PowerChart. Three, you can easily get contact info for a primary care provider of a patient whose chart you're looking at. And four, you can get diagnostic imaging wait times from any browser or pathways. So let's get started. Number one, PowerChart access from your clinic computer. We all access PowerChart through Citrix Receiver, which is a program you can install on any computer. See other videos on the PCI website for how to do that for your clinic computer. We then access PowerChart by using an application inside Citrix Receiver called Citrix Desktop. When you click on Citrix Desktop, then you then get a window that looks like a desktop on a hospital computer. You use that desktop to launch PowerChart. Two steps are required. There is new Island Health software for accessing PowerChart called PowerChart Remote that is one step. It makes PowerChart seem like it's installed on your clinic computer. So this means you can click an icon, enter your password, finish something else up on your EMR, and then PowerChart will have be open on your computer a few minutes later. What's the catch? Well, for security reasons, with PowerChart Remote, you get bumped off in 15 minutes. Citrix Desktop, on the other hand, gives you a screensaver in three minutes, bumps you off in 60 minutes and totally disconnects you in 120. So, to recap, there are two ways to get PowerChart from your clinic. Two-step login for Citrix Desktop, but with longer timeouts. And one-step login for PowerChart Remote with shorter timeouts. You can use either one at any time, whatever suits your mood. If you want to have PowerChart Remote on your computer, it's easy. Open up Citrix Receiver so you see this screen like this. Then click on the plus sign, all applications, and scroll down to you see PowerChart Remote, and then click it. You may get a password request at this point. Just enter your regular PowerChart password. The secret sauce comes when you drag the PowerChart Remote icon out of this window and down into your taskbar or to your power bar whatever you have on your operating system, so that now PowerChart Remote can launch just like when you launch Microsoft Word or Outlook or Mail or Internet Explorer. So you could have Citrix Receiver closed and just open up your computer, click on the PowerChart Remote button, and it launches just like Outlook would. Put in your password, and then you can go off and do something else while something happens in the background, say have a conversation with your patient or finish up your note and then power come back and PowerChart will be loaded. So this is how you get one-click access to PowerChart from your clinic computer. Number two, viewing diagnostic imaging within a diagnostic imaging report. If you're looking at a chart of a patient and you're on the Diagnostics tab and you find a report that's been created since December 14th, 2017, you can double click on it to open it up. And when it opens up, you're looking for two signs that it has an image attached to it. First of all, down at the bottom under Report, it says, this document has an image. And then up at the top, it's got a colored icon of an image. And you can click on that to view the image. This opens up a viewer and loads the image, and you can see the image much like a radiologist would. Of course, they are not, these are not diagnostic quality, but it gives you an idea of what's going on. You can open it up and then use the sliders and many other features such as the hand and the uh, microscope to go through a CT scan or an x-ray or whatever image it is. Uh, much like you would if you were in the hospital. The actual report, of course, is visible to you as well, and so you can correlate the report to the images. This is very handy. Of course, it only works for VHA images, uh, but if you want to look at West Coast images, you can go to westcoastmedicalimaging.com, click on Physicians, Interrad Packs, and then click to register, say I want to apply for an account, and you agree to the terms, and then fill this out, and they will call you in a few days verifying who you are and provide you with information on how to access 
West Coast Imaging from your clinic computer. Number three, finding the primary care provider information while in a patient chart. So when you're in a patient chart, you can go up to the PCP field and do a regular right click or an index finger click, and this will pop up. And then you highlight the name you're interested in, do a left click, and click more info, and you will get uh, street address and fax number and business number. We hope to ha include, for those who want it, cell phone number and back office number in the future, so keep your eyes open for that improvement. Hospitalists are already telling me that this feature is helping them quite a bit to get quicker access to the primary care provider. This, of course, allows them to organize discharges with the primary care provider, improving patient care. Number four, accessing medical imaging wait times. You can do this in a couple of ways. First, let's try going to the Pathways website, pathwaysbc.ca, and you can log in. This is only available to those in uh, southern Vancouver Island. And once you're in Pathways, you find medical imaging and click on that. And you can pick any one of the sites on the island. Uh, let's pick Victoria General. And once you get into the details, you look for the word wait times in blue there. Then you click on that. And normally it'll ask you to log in, but I just logged in a few minutes ago to test it. Uh, so this gives us uh, the wait times for all the imaging sites on Vancouver Island by all the modalities. There's some information on how to use this site available in this other page, including examples of how to choose which clinical situations are urgent, stat, and semi-urgent, and then frequently asked questions. So the most important thing, though, is for you to go back to the home page and then save this as a bookmark so you don't have to repeat that trip to Pathways if you don't want to. So you can, on, uh, on my computer, you can click on uh, Add Bookmarks uh, and then rename it, whatever you want. Uh, of course, a very similar process for all the other types of browsers. And uh, I won't just want to make sure it shows up in my favorites bar up atop, so then you can see it shows up as wait times there. So we'll just uh, pop out and go and go back to Google. And the other way for people who don't have access to Pathways is to go to Primary Care Informatics website. Uh, in Nanaimo, then hosted by the Nanaimo Division. And this is a way to get to that link that we're then going to make a bookmark. So you get to the primary care informatics site, look for that. Want to get imaging faster? Click on the link. And this time it does ask me for my password. So this is just your regular power chart password. And there we're logged in. And we want to go through that same process of making it a bookmark. And then I'll just uh, pop back out to Google for a quick sec and see that, yeah, once it becomes a bookmark, then you can uh, just click on that bookmark and go straight to the medical imaging wait times. Uh, the timeout's about 15 minutes, so I didn't ask me for my password again. Making health IT easy for you and me, I'm Ian B.